to Joey Vento, Gino Sticks. Thank you. It's great to be here. Now, listen, you've got to understand something. I am not a politician. Oh, I'm just an average guy. I'm going to tell you how I feel. And the one thing I'd like to clarify, I understand the people across the street there think that we're bad people. But I would like you to go to the country that you think is better than this country. That's why we're here. I'm not going to go over everything that's already been said because it's already done. So I'll try to keep it short and sweet on what I think it says. These illegal invaders, and that's just where they are, invaders. They are not the kind of immigrants that our grandparents were. When our grandparents came here, like in my family, they were tickled pink to be here. They died in their 80s, still struggling to learn the language. But they knew to be successful in America, you had to speak English. Yeah. Yeah. I have made a statement in the very beginning. That's why the second and third generation will prosperous. Now, here in this case here, I said the Spanish people will never prosperous. Why? Because first of all, my father, when he went to school speaking Italian, there was no choice. It was strictly English. Had he had a choice, I probably would be speaking Italian today. So the Spanish people, I say to you, you just want to be prosperous? Because I called you morons, and I'm going to tell you why. As long as you've got Spanish in the school, you'll never, ever succeed in the United States of America for complete success. Success in America is you must speak English. Yeah, Joey, yeah. And as far as the parties, we all agree that's two parties with one head. Yeah, that's what it is, one head. So I, what I say is when November comes, we go against, we look at each individual. We look at the person that wants to help secure our borders and thinks like us. The rest of them, you vote them out and you vote this guy in. Whether he's a Democrat or a Republican, you vote him in because that's how we're going to get America back. Yeah, they are training our system, there's no question. They're running, we already heard about the murderers, so I don't want to go into that, and the child that they're molesting. Here we are, we're a country that owes the children. We gotta worry about our children. Well, here we are, we have, they're killing like 25 of us a day, which we already know. They're molesting about eight children a day. That's two reasons alone why we can get them out of here. And there's no such word as can't, not in the American we language. We can do it! Say, you don't want to do it, don't say you can't do it. We are the greatest country in the world. We can do anything we want. We have people that are waiting faithfully over almost 15 years that already paid their dues, they want to assimilate, learn our culture, know our language, and want to do these jobs. The people that we're allowing to come over, all we're getting is drug dealers and murderers. That's There's right. no accountability. You know, since there is no accountability, we've got this 12 million figure which John brought up the 30 million, which at the possibly, I brought it up that if there's no accountability on the 12, why couldn't it be 20 million? That's right. That's right. I mean, if there's no accountability, and John, you're right, they didn't fall through the cracks, they walked right through the doorway. Yeah. We're allowing it. We got to learn the police department. We got to take the handcuffs off the policemen and put it on the thugs where they write. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you can't record people to commit the crime. And as far as the anchor babies, you come here, you pop a baby, pick it up, take it back to Mexico. But these people came here with the criminal intent, knowing that if they pop this baby out, that they're going to get all the benefits, and we won't take mommy and daddy away from the kids. Fine, take the baby and you go, go back to Mexico. That's right. We already know what's happening in Mexico. They show that over and over in the news, how they Anchor babies are living in Mexico with their mommies and daddies, but they're joining all the benefits of our country. They're coming back and forth every day through the borders into the schools of Texas at a cost of one billion dollars a year. Ridiculous. They're going to kill us economically. Sure they are. I mean, I just want to say, American people better wake up. We better this wake is up. the greatest country in the world. Everybody ever thinks that. I mean, they should get out. I mean, these people are coming here. They don't want to assimilate. That's a, that's definitely. They want us to learn their language and their culture. Well, you already came from a country doing that. Stay there. Yeah. That's right. and the girl, the girl from the, the girl from that church in the, in the Chicago. Alvira. Alvira. Yeah, whatever her name. Alvira. Alvira. To the old, to <laughs> yeah. I mean, here's a woman that had the audacity to say that we broke the law first. Yeah. Oh. oh no. Excuse me. I'll agree. We helped you along there, but we didn't break the law, we just didn't enforce it. Right. You broke right. the law. There's a big difference there. Yeah. Yep. Now she's in Mexico saying, oh, how nice it is to walk down the street free, I have a job, I feel safe. Well, welcome, tell the other 12 or 20 million, I'm bringing this. They'll all come back and everybody's going to be happy for you. I mean, you've got problems over Mexico. Fix what's 
broken over Mexico. Don't come into our country and try to break a system that is very effective and works. We are a country of laws. You can't be rewarded for breaking our laws. In the first, and they first broke our law by coming to this country illegally. That would be like me saying, I left the back door of my house open for whatever reason. Stupidity, I forgot. It still doesn't give anyone the right to come into my home without my permission. Yeah. 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 To be countries like in third world countries. Do you want your kids, kids later on, three or four generations of buying for jobs at $2 an hour? You're going to say, well, again, yeah, I'll do it for $1.75. Well, wait a minute, I'll do it for $1.50. Is that the legacy we want? No. no that country wasn't built like that. No. I say to politicians, you're right. They are greedy, greedy people. I said, and by knocking this legislation that, that we just knocked down, that we were going to get amnesty, to, which everybody said wasn't amnesty. Give me a break. The people are telling you, you cannot sell America for money or votes. Right. And the reason why we have Americans that won't do the job, they just won't want to do it for slave wages. And they're right about the business people. Put their butts in jail for about a week. They'll stop real, real quick. If for some reason a mistake comes on my accounting and the Eternal Reverend comes in, I either pay a fine or a penalty or both, whatever the case is. Well, here's businessmen that you know are breaking the law, paying under the table. They're pocketing that money. They're not giving it back to the consumers by no way, shape, or form. Yeah. But here, they'll come after Joey Vento. Let me show you that sign. Look what brought the world to its knees. I oh, my God. This is America. When order, please speak English. It doesn't say you're not going to get served because everybody gets served. It's just that you might not get served what you thought you ordered. And your <laughs> language, whatever it might be, you might be saying, give me a cheese whiz without onions. I might interpret that to be a problem with onions. You're allergic to onions. Who's at fault at this problem? Me or you? You're here in this country. You chose to be here. Choose to speak our language. That's a, the case. They got buttons pressed one finger. Disgrace. Where's the Italian button? The Russian, the Japanese, the Philippine, the Korean. Why is it every other group came in here, they knew the tricks of success were speaking our language. They had no problem with it. That's why I call, for the most part, the Spanish people that are going against me, I call them the morons because they refuse to simulate. Because if you're smart, you take it out of the schools. I even had some bishops call me a hypocrite. Joey Venter, you made a statement that you're teaching English two words at a time at your store. Well, why don't you show your head by donate to our Spanish organization to teach English. I say this, take the Spanish out of the school, and I'll be the first one to send you a check. <laughs> Great about this country, because <clears throat> my family background, I love my family, and they didn't always do the right thing. But they paid a price. But only here in America, they give a guy like me with a ninth grade education an opportunity to say, you're different. And I proved I'm different. Yeah. I could have won against the people that won against my family, which was law enforcement. I took the other road. I didn't do what any business is. So this is why this is the greatest country in the world. Try doing that in Mexico. Go oh, over and wave the American flag here. Or let me oh, yeah. open the Geo States and say, I want everybody to speak English. You know what happened? Hey, the federality. Hey, Mr. Vento, we got to work with you. Take me up and he'll put a bullet in the back of my head. He'll never hear from me no more. See, people don't understand that. Take some of their immigration laws. I don't know if people are familiar with some. I'll just give you a couple of them. You will not have bilingual in the school, strictly Spanish. Yeah. All business in the government would be done in Spanish. You will not be a burden to the taxpayer. No welfare, no food stamp, no health care, no nothing. I mean, that's ridiculous over here. You know what I mean? If you go against the government in any way, shape, or form, you will be immediately deported to your country of origin. You cannot wave a flag of any country there. And guess what? If you're here illegally, we're going to hunt you down and put you in jail. Whoopee! Why don't we enact that? It's that president... Fox, whatever you want to call that guy, is sitting with our president, the other drug over there. Uh, uh, you want us to stop uh, the drugs in your country, you better give us economical aid. Right. Oh, no, no, Mr. Bush, you need to, no, no, we'll put a wall, we'll boycott you. We don't need your people. You need us. And we have, like I said, plenty of people. Let's cut the red tape on that. Get them here over here legally. I'll be the first one to donate the first bus. You have 24-7. They already said it's costing us somewhere in the neighborhood about $338 billion a year for these illegals. It's going to cost between $206 and $230 billion a year to get rid of them. After the first year, we're ahead of the game. <laughs> and you bring in the ones that want to come in, and now you have a choice. We need 100,000 unskilled labor. No problem. We pick out the 100,000. Now you want to take in another 100,000. Okay, now we want your brightest and your best, whether it be medical or what. We have a choice. Here we have no choice. All we're doing is bringing in the criminal element. 
and they're, they're destroying our country. How these people, I don't know when they're going to wake up. You're worried about your, your, your children are getting raped. Raw. We have enough child molesters and murders in our own country. That's why Geraldo on Fox News, they got to get rid of that guy. He is, he's pro-illegal. That's why they wanted me to debate him. Why should I debate him? He's pro-illegal. I'm pro-legal. No matter what I say, he, his theory is murder is a murder. You should treat him according. Of course, you're right. A murder is a murder. The difference is if one's illegal and one isn't, we only have to deal with the one murder, right. not the two. And right. possibly the illegal one has no money. we got to pick up the tattoo to so send it back. We don't need him. Bless America. And like I said, when November comes, vote these bums out of all. Yeah.